Hey friends, welcome back and in today's video we'll be discussing about electrostatic interaction or ionic interaction or ionic bond. The ionic bonds are formed due to the attraction between atoms or groups with opposite charges. A charged group on a substrate can attract an oppositely charged group on an enzyme. These are non-covalent interactions. And the force of these interactions we can derive by Coulomb's law where f is equals to q1 q2 divided by r squared d where f is the force q1 is the charge of one atom q2 is the charge of another atom r is the distance and d is the dielectric constant of medium so in from here we can derive that f is inversely proportional to d in case of air or vacuum d is equals to 1 so force is highest for benzene which is non-polar d is equals to 4.6 so force is high and in uh, case of h2o which is polar d is equals to 80 so force is very low now we'll discuss about salt bridge or salt link we can also call saline bond so nacl when it is present in water nacl will be disintegrated into na plus and cl minus ions so nacl has its own entropy that is entropy one and na plus now has its own entropy that is entropy a and cl minus has let's say entropy b now entropy one is lesser than entropy a plus entropy b so we know that more entropy means more solubility and so this is the reason why nacl when is present in aqua solution or water it is radially soluble so all salts are radially soluble in water because they kind of disintegrate in ions and ions have each of them each of the ions they have a cumulative uh, entropy which is more than the entropy of salt now according to thermodynamics we can say delta g is equals to delta h minus t delta s so if delta h is less positive and t delta s is more positive then delta g will become negative so this is a thermodynamically stable reaction thus the solubility of salt in water is thermodynamically stable now for electrostatic interactions we know f is inversely proportional to 1 by r where r is the distance right now if the electrostatic interaction is between ions and ion then the energy will fall by 1 by r if this is between induced dipole and ions induced dipole means this is temporary dipole then the energy will fall by 1 by r to the power 4 and if the interaction is between permanent dipole permanent dipole then the energy will fall by 1 by r cube whereas normally we know according to coulomb's law f is equals to q1 q2 divided by r square d that means it should energy should fall by 1 by r square so these are the different values that we should remember while solving the mathematical problems okay so thank you